Hi guys, this is Rob with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my reassembly series, Season 3, Episode 7. We will get to the draw, the second last draw for the reassembly game keys in a moment. First, let's play a little reassembly. Yes! These lasers are pretty awesome! And it's, it's, I, I really like having control over my guns. The auto fire is really good. It's actually almost too good. You know, when you put things on auto fire, it's 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 almost like cheating. And well, it's not cheating. I mean, it's 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 a crutch, right? I like to be able to manage my guns myself, and I don't know. It just gives you that feeling of making a difference, actually doing something. But look at how fast it these these plants start to produce resources. We are going to blow these guys out of the water. So these agents just keep coming in and doing little strikes. And I think they're trying to get at the resources. And you know what? They can't have them. <laughs> we are now starting the farm. And I'm hoping that things won't go badly this time. I think we're going to be okay because we're going to build more of the... Oh, we didn't. We never named the ship. Let's name the ship. It is the Clotter. <laughs> Hold on. This is the upgraded version. The Clotter. Save. I really like it. It holds a lot of resources. I did take out a couple of the resource containment units, but uh, it's still 9,559. It's pretty amazing. And as soon as we have enough, we are going to plant another station here. And hopefully, yeah, it'll be our newest version station. So it will have way better guns than the older one. We should put the new shields on it too. I never thought of that. Yeah, we should do that too. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's make sure that we've got it in our queue. Yep. There we go, there's another station coming. And building the stations near the farms, that's key because the stations will just keep sucking up that material and of course it will use it to start building the new fleets and we can tell it what to start building actually, that's probably a good idea too. Oh, uh, before we go any further, one more build that uh, I've been kind of dying to do. Uh, somebody had mentioned a just, just a longbow ship and just a very simple fighter that just has a big old longbow right in the center. I don't know, I think it'd be super fun. Okay, so here, here we go. Okay guys, it's Saturday afternoon, and it's about 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and I have stolen Lisa from her leisure time playing RimWorld Alpha 9. Yeah, this is supposed to be my break. I was doing homework, and then I got to play some RimWorld and eat some pizza, and now I have to do this. Maybe I just don't care. Yeah, I don't think you do. I was having a break, I was having fun. I know, but you know what? Everybody is now counting on you to... I could just get the names from you and, and just announce this on no, my own. No, it's but my job. I have one job. Don't take my job. I'm not going to take your job. It's very important. And, I and only have one job. And people like you. They really? like you. Yeah, you, Aww, you're charming. Thanks, guys. Yes. I think they like you more than me, actually. Well, I am better looking. You are tremendously better looking. I smell better, too. <laughs> I would never date it's somebody that looks like me. mostly because I'm a girl. Me. I'm kind of perfumey. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Don't be creepy. <laughs> okay, sorry. Do you have some names for us? I do. Um, I actually, uh, I was reading the clouds today. The clouds. Cloud reading. That's as in, how like, I you went out, as in like you went outside, you there stood was there. There was no you going knew... outside. It was simply from the window. Let's, oh, right. let's be realistic. It's like minus 17 out there. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Yes. It's cold. In, ca in case, in case you don't know, we do live in Canada, and it gets a little cold. Here. It was like yesterday; it was zero, and today is minus seventeen. That, that's in Celsius, by the way. Yeah. That's that's really cold. Yeah, it's chilly. A little yeah. bit, little bit chilly on my bottom. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I did some cloud reading, and that's how I determined the names today. Okay. Are you ready? You have a lot of different. Uh... I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> I get no homework done. Ever. Wow. And then I rip you from your leisure time. Yeah, how dare you? What an ass. I know, jerk. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. First name. Purple Electric Tiger. That's an intense name. I know. That's an intense name. Like, that's, awesome. that's a great name. Yeah. Purple Electric Tiger. Yeah, it's great. That's awesome. Good Woo! name, dude. Congratulations. Yeah! Well done. Well done. I will get a game key out to you as soon as possible. All right. And our second name. Derps. Sorry, say that again. Derps. Uh, are you having a seizure? Derps. Derps is the name of the name. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're not having a seizure. No. Nope. Derps, nope. as in D-E-R-P-S. Delta Echo Romeo Papa Sierra. Yes. Derps, you've won yourself Woo! a copy of Reassembly. Congratulations. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Good 
Good job, Derps. All right. Thank you very much, Lisa. My pleasure. You may go back and play RimWorld. My pleasure. I have got to go save my uh, my guys from the winter. Okay. It's going to be cool. I hope you pause it. I really do, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, bye, guys. Okay, it's, it's a brick. <laughs> I added no fluff to this one. It is just armor and guns and engines. So two big back engines, two strafing engines, so so it can strafe left and right to be able to <laughs> aim with this uh, this guy a little bit better. And of course, some MLS Avengers. Now, surprisingly, this thing's tiny, 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 but it's uh, 856p to build. It's huge. Like it's it's still a very very expensive ship. And we're gonna call this. Oh, what's a good virus in history? Well, let's go with. <laughs> Uh, mump. Yes, mump. And if you have many, it's the mumps. <sighs> oh, terrible. Oh, actually, this needs one very, very important thing. Oh, man, I can't believe we forgot. We need power. Okay, there we go. Uh, that should be more than enough power. 120 per second. And this uses 166 per shot and shoots one round per second actually it's probably even too much maybe maybe two of those tops because we have the MLS as well but you know let's uh, let's give it a shot the mumps <laughs> uh, I I hope you guys are enjoying my funniness I know sometimes it drives me crazy okay did oh yeah we're building it okay perfect oh it might actually move pretty good oh look at that oh darn it stuff I don't want stuff to build on me. <laughs> oh, that slows us down. <laughs> oh, man. I got a fungus. Sometimes I just don't feel fresh. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Um, tiny, but look at that. Nice. You know what? It probably has, much firepower, has as much firepower as some of my earlier ships. That's great. And it's tiny, tiny. Oh, I like it a lot. Okay, so let's uh, let's get the stations building those. All right, so you're gonna build, uh, you're gonna build. <laughs> I, if you leave it empty, I don't know what it builds. It, I don't know if it's random or what the deal is. But uh, where is the ship I'm flying? Oh, it's because it's not. Hold on, I see. Hold on, let's do. Get out of command mode here. And we need to put the mumps in our... There we go. Now we can go to command mode and click on that. And we can add mumps to the queue because I think the mumps would be pretty awesome. We're going to add some poxes. And we're going to add, yes, the clotter, definitely. And pox, yes, that, that. And aberrations. I like them too. Okay, there we go. That's a nice mix, actually. That's a really nice mix. Okay, and I wish it would kind of copy that to all of the stations that you've got, rather than having to just do it for every single one, right? It's a little annoying. Uh, clutter, and what was the other one? Aberration, clutter, mump. Uh, actually, we'll change this one up a little bit. And No, I like the pox. Pox is good. Okay, so we've got sort of fighter, fighter defense, and we've got uh, some heavy gunships. Actually, this flies really super good, guys. And actually strafes very well. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. Okay, so let's go back to the clotter. And get some anth more uh, farming done. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Collecting the resources. So all these little guys are just pumping out resources. And look, it's begun. We have begun to start farming. Wow, we're up to 5280C. Holy crow. Okay, so let's... Uh, what else? We, oh, we can. Uh, there's just so much to do. Let's build our shield ship. I, 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 I promised we would build a shield ship, so let's do it this episode. I know we haven't done much else, but build. But then, what is reassembly without a lot of assembling? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, so let's build our next ship. And we are this time. We're going to be using the brand new EXR railgun and it's going to be made out of shields and only shields. Oh, okay.
Okay, so three things. I, I people have been asking me to do a ship that's just a big line of railguns. So that's the first thing, and I did them facing forward and backwards. So I'm gonna make it so that mouse button one fires forward, mouse button two fires backward. I did add some MLS guns too as well for a little bit of defense, but it's it's gonna be pretty open for uh, fair season, I think. Now. Uh, the other thing that people have been, a few people were asking for, actually, was to build a ship strictly out of shields. So there is no other structural components. There is no hull, there is no walls, there's no nothing except for shields, energy, and guns. That's it. That's all. Shield, energy, and guns. So that's very exciting. And I did this... This particular design was inspired by Sarkat, one of the... Uh, commenters on the channel had suggested the Taba Mo virus and I will show a picture up on the screen right now of what I was kind of aiming for so and I've seen other pictures like this under my well I guess electron microscope they just look like little tiny microscopic sticks and they're perfectly symmetrical they're perfectly shaped like this not all viruses are perfectly symmetrical but this one just happens to be and it actually looks kind of like this has you know all the DNA running through it and kind of a little bit fluffy on the edges but it's just the shields I don't know why I, I like the design now we can't actually fly this ship ourselves right now because we just don't have enough P built up for ourselves but the uh, but the faction can certainly build them if it has the funds to do so and uh, I can build them but I can't fly it so and there is the the big engines in there somewhere too yeah it's hard to see with all the shields but I don't know pretty scary I would, I would be scared to run into this because it's literally a wall of guns I don't know if there's enough power to run it but we'll give it a shot okay so Toba Mo-virus. I don't know exactly what it does, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> I think it's part of a plant-based virus, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let's save that. Excellent. Now, like I said, I won't be able to fly it until we upgrade our P. But it's good to go, and we're going to go back into our clutter. Maybe we'll even build one of those. That'd be kind of cool. But our goal right now, we need to get... We need to upgrade our ship. So that's the thing. We need to get some P... Our ship P up to, I don't know, if we 8,000, I guess, would be the goal. We've got a long way to go. But look at our farm. Ooh, little burgeoning farm. I love it. Okay, so let's get some more of the plants growing over here. Hello. Why are the plant? Oh, because I'm still in command mode. It doesn't tell you when you're in command mode. It's, I think that they should fix that. Okay, so we'll get rid of these plants, build some more of these. And we're going to build another station over on the other side here soon as we have enough points so this is something that you know we've been talking about for a long time you know using this race or this faction for its ab strong ability to create a whole lot of resources and therefore a lot of friendlies right including uh, building big ships for yourself and maxing out your 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 social or so, not social credits but your your ship p and we just haven't done it and i don't know why I think we get so caught up in the builds. I think that's what it is. I spend so much time building ships and because it is so much fun. And of course, you, you have to see merit in that. I'm sure if you've been watching the series, you just, you're, you're probably getting into it and you're like, oh, he should have done this and he should have done that. And I can't believe he did it this way. I would have done it this way. And you know what? By all means, there's a million ways to do these things. So I don't know. As soon as you get a hold of 
the game for yourself, of course, you can build whatever you want. Oh, there's another one of my plotters. Awesome. So there we go. Another farm on the way, and it will just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, kind of like this one. It looks like there's a couple of green, green plants here, but look, we are growing. Now, look at us. We are starting to grow. Awesome. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And as a matter of fact, it's going to... There's enough guys out here collecting resources that it's actually tough for us or for me as an individual to sit out here and try and farm now because there's so many friendlies out here. But that's good. We have, the more friendlies, the better. You know, these clotters, they're kind of like the foundation of our, of, our, of our culture now, these clotters. Like, they're just, they're such a good ship. And I dare that. I wonder if that agent's just sitting outside. I, we should go see if he's there. Because now I feel like we have enough ships kind of hovering in here that we could, uh, I don't know, maybe make his life a little bit more difficult. Let's go see. Maybe we should bring some, some guys with us, but I, I just hate wasting the, uh, the goodies. Uh, let's see. Can we build? Oh, we can. We can build one of our... Oh, the Toba Movirus. Let's build one. Awesome. Awesome. Okay that in here for now and here we go let's build it it probably won't fly worth a damn too because it's probably it's so heavy well actually I don't even know that it would be that heavy because there's no structure on it it may actually fly quite well we'll just get rid of these plants so it can grow a little easier didn't want those there anyway so there we go okay it's gonna take a while to build this sucker but when it hits, it's just going to be this wall. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Okay, that's going to be a minute. So let's just go see what this uh, agent's doing. He's just sitting right outside here. Far enough away. Oh, is that him? That's... That is... Oh... A neutral attacking Kribby Crib. I don't know if he's the agent or not. He doesn't look like any factions I recognize. He might be. I don't know. But, no, there he is. There. Oh, yeah, it is. He, the other guy is an agent. Okay, so, let's see. Cribby Crib. Done. We actually killed an agent. Yay! And we got achievements. We got some achievements. Sorry, I can't talk right now. We got achievements. I'm just so excited we killed an agent. Um, this, uh, the clotter is pretty good. If we can actually get those guys close enough. In range. Ah. Uh, Bugger. Oh, that ship is... The Tobo Movirus is still building. Yeah, I knew that would take a while. Ooh. You know what? We should maybe put those lasers back on auto fire. Because it's hard to see when I'm being attacked by little guys when I'm out here like this. Oh, yeah. He's not getting in close enough. Okay. Looks like he's... He's about three quarters of the way done. <laughs> that is definitely not something you build if you're looking for immediate action. Got to make sure there's no stuff just kind of stuck in between there. Maybe we should bump him away from the wall there so that he can finish building. Because uh, he might be having trouble like that. Oh, those shields. Oh, it's going to take a while because each one of those shields takes like, I don't know, five seconds? Something like that. So yeah, it's, it's going to take a while. <laughs> uh, and we've killed, we finally killed a primary agent. How do you like that? It's about time. Oh, look, it's coming together. Awesome. That Tobo Movirus actually may be pretty kind of cool. And it may fly, it actually may fly pretty good simply because it, uh, it doesn't have any other heavy hull pieces on it. Like, it doesn't have any of the unobtainium. It doesn't have anything else. Of course, it's got the rail guns and stuff, but I don't think they're yet actually that bad. Oh, look, there's one of our little defense platform things. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. It looks like we may be starting to uh, become the virus we've always wanted to be. We're growing up, guys. We're growing up. I have no idea how long this episode's gone. It could be three hours. I don't even know. Let's capture this, uh, this empty space. That's another one of the agents. Cribby Crib. It's funny. He's showing us neutral. Okay. Yeah, you, you can't take those lasers very long. The problem is, I have nothing to follow it up. So as soon as he starts to run, I have nothing to kind of nail him once those shields go down. Which is really unfortunate. And as I'm going through here, I am laying more eggs. 
I guess viruses don't really lay eggs, but nanoviruses do. They lay mechanical eggs. That makes no sense. They lay... It's kind of like a... I don't know. <laughs> Robovirus. Yeah, well... I don't know. Okay, so there we go. We've got a few seeds going out here, and uh, yeah, the guys will start to come out and start harvesting. We could actually build another one of our stations out here. We're really we're gonna we're gonna take over the area. We're not messing around anymore. No more messing around. No more Mr. Nice Guy. We were a nice virus for a while, and then we, then they decided to start killing our stations, and we'll have none of that. So we've got another station coming out here. Bloop! I just pooped a station. <laughs> Pooping stations. Clean all this out and put some more pods on. Yeah, there they go. So I'm, I'm literally spewing seeds right now because I've got all those uh, plants right on our ship. Awesome. Just like that. I love it. So and as, as that station finishes up, it'll start to build more ships and we'll start to expand out. We are going gangbusters and I think we're on the way to winning this game. And we are, what's our maximum P right now? Maximum P is 3957. Yeah, you know what? We're going for the gusto. We're going for the we're going for the win. The knockout punch. We are going for the 8000 P this time. We are not stopping to build battleships until we are at 8000 P because I'm in it I'm in it to win now, guys. I'm in it to win. So, I think we're going to call that an episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think I think the episode's long enough, but I, I can't even tell anymore. I, I turned off my timer. It's really hard to time these because I do so many fast forwards, but for some reason they always seem to end up at around uh, 30 minutes. Oh, wait, before we go, that was an agent. I'm pretty sure that was an agent. Pretty sure. Let's uh, add some pods here and see if we can't. No, he's gone. Okay, so we're going to call that an episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Oh, and if you are interested in a free copy of reassembly all you have to do is leave a comment below and on the next episode i will do another draw with lisa for another copy two copies actually of reassembly and yes this will be the last chance that you can get a free copy from deluxe gaming so leave your comment on this video down below and you can say whatever you want you do not have to subscribe i do not require that at all super easy to say hi whatever and you're entered in for the draw anyway good luck guys take care